And as WNDC's Sierra Rucker shows us, the broad-reaching impacts of inflation continue to affect the economy in central Illinois and across the country. President Biden says tough requirements on banks, such as the Dodd-Frank law, will be enforced to make sure that a crisis like the one in 2008 doesn't happen again. A clear track ahead, federal regulators approved the first major railroad merger in nearly two decades. And continuing coverage in Ohio, where the Attorney General Yost filed a lawsuit against Norfolk Southern over the toxic train derailment in East Palestine. A 16-year-old is dead in Urbana after he was found with a gunshot wound to the head. Police were American air travel. And as Alice Barr shows us, those leaders say that all of these near misses need to serve as a wake-up call for the industry. The FAA is investigating the latest incident at Reagan National when a regional jet turned onto the wrong taxiway, crossing right in front of a United Airbus jet right before takeoff. APH reports strep throat is becoming deadlier. It's a very you know, common bacterial infection, and it's now becoming increasingly difficult to treat for doctors. Plus, a new top dog, American's new favorite dog for the first time in over 30 years, who now reigns supreme of the canine world. We'll be right back. Sending a text to the wrong person can be pretty embarrassing, but sometimes it can lead to a love story. After typing in the wrong number, Brenda Rivera sent an uplifting Bible verse. Must say. You can't have a bad day if you have a dog. Uh, yeah, well, most well of you, the time. <laughs> my, oh, my dogs have pushed me to my limits. I, I totally yes. forgot the puppy stage. Yes, I yes. completely <laughs> take back what I just said. I recognize that was not right. Over on our sunrise cam, today's sunrise should be up around 7.06 this morning. And Anthony, outside today, we'll be enjoying the last Thursday of winter of this that is, year. That is true. It's the tech or the app that we use to get from point A to point B. Nearly 93% of drivers say they depend on GPS, and I'm definitely guilty of that, Darren. Yeah, but we'll be deleting the GPS app off my Don't phone. delete it. You still might need it. Just don't use it to get nope. to work or get to and from Target every day. <laughs> Did you hear the report said that uh, um, it's okay to get lost sometimes? It's actually good to get lost. So you know what? I'll just be getting lost. It's good to day. get lost. A warning this morning from Lincoln Police. The department is removing its drug take back of Dropbox after it was stuffed with, quote, prohibited and hazardous items. The department launched the take back window. A dramatic rescue caught on camera. This was in Miami, where a police officer is being hailed a hero today after pulling a father and son from a sinking car in a canal. Orlando Valdez, the driver there, says that he swerved to avoid another car on the road, plus hoping to bring change to the Vermilion County Fairgrounds, what a local businessman hopes to do to bring more families together. It's not just me, a lot of us want the warmth, okay? And a local <laughs> business owner in Danville proposed the idea to the Vermilion County Board, and as WND's Asia Clayton reports, his idea would replace the Vermilion County Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds board invited Wright to attend a board meeting. However, it still has no plans to sell that land. What do you have there? I have my bracket. You just got through saying <laughs> He's still do working weather. on his bracket. I love it. Halfway complete. All so. right. Who you got in the final four so far? Oh, I'm not that far. Oh, no, my goodness. Yeah, I, I, still you're not, not halfway complete. You don't I've know. Got a, I got he's time. got weather to worry about. Can you yeah. tell us about that, please? <laughs> well, the, the bottom line is... Oh, look at, that shot. look at that shot. Look at that shot. I didn't make it in anything. We'll see you at noon. Bye. <laughs>